Oh my, look at this beautiful picture of a city, a house, a playground. What's wrong with these pictures? Hmm, something doesn't seem quite right. I would like you to turn and talk to your neighbor and we're going to discuss what is wrong with each picture you just saw and how we can fix it. Now that we've discussed some of the problems we saw in those pictures and how to solve them, we are teaming up with Oklahoma. That's right, that's our state right there in the red. Oklahoma does something to help prevent litter and garbage in our state. They have created a contest, an art contest, a trash poster contest to help students across Oklahoma learn the importance of keeping our state clean. Here are the winners from last year. Strut your trash to the can. Notice how the space is completely colored in and filled. The words are spelled correctly. Being green is staying clean. Again, notice how the space is filled and completely colored in. Littering is bad. You can read it and it's colored in completely. This is a winner from Bixby Central Elementary, an honorable mention. Why am I sitting in all this trash when I can clean it up in a flash? That came from our school. Congratulations. You can be a winner. Move your trash to the can. What's the deal? Pickle up your trash. That's a play on words, a dill pickle. It's picking up trash. What are you nuts? The nut is throwing trash on the ground. That is also playing with words. I think we need to talk about trash. This is a taco and the taco is saying, let's talk about. Instead of spelling it talk about, they spelled it taco about. Uh, again, that is playing with words to make something funny or witty. You can come up with an idea similar to this if you'd like. Now 14 students will be awarded cash prizes up to $250. You need to have this uh, form on the back of your poster. Now here's a few rules that you need to remember. Make your words large and easy to read. Make sure your work is neat. Take your time. Do not rush. Make sure you add detail, have a background, and color everything in. Avoid too much white space. And the message must be positive. Don't leave any negative statements behind. You can use markers, crayons, pencil, eraser, and colored pencils. If you'd like to paint in the background for easier use and not wasting too many markers, you can use watercolor paint but only for background colors. You cannot copy, no glitter, no glue, no signature on the front. Also, no copyrighted material, no SpongeBob, no Pokemon, nothing that you can buy at a store. Spelling and grammar must be correct. So you'll, you might need to get this checked with Miss Highland or Mr. Brandt. Positive messages, good lettering, easy to read, and bright, bold colors. Make sure things are not drawn too small, but large. Here is an example of what you'll be doing today. You will be making a rough draft. That is a plan on a piece of, um, paper that is smaller than the actual poster. Here on my plan, I'm drawing a sketch of what I think I want on my poster. I write, you can do it. I draw a rough idea of what I want to put on my poster. Now on this plan, I'm not coloring it in. I'm not adding any color. I'm just having it checked by Miss Highland to see if the writing is correct. If it is correct, I will get a larger size piece of paper and I can go and begin work on that. But I have to check all spelling. Now I'm blowing it up larger to fit on the entire scope of my poster. I'm taking my plan and resketching it on my large poster. I go in after I have sketched out my plan and made sure everything is spelled right and add an outline. You might not be doing this today. You might be coming up with your idea for a, quite a while. Then I outline all the words so you can see it. You can do this in marker, colored pencil, crayon. 
Now when you color in, make sure that you are using the fat side of the marker. This will save you a lot of time. So I am coloring from side to side using the fat side of my marker and not the tip. This covers space more quickly. I'm coloring in all white parts of this trash can. Now on this example, it could use some improvements, and at the end of this video, I will walk through with you what we could do to make this example even better. color in details, and then I take my poster to Miss Highland to check and see what I can do to make it even better. Here are some no-nos to avoid. Do not draw stick people. You know how to add clothing and details. And also, don't draw too small. This picture is way too small, and there's way too much white space. Also, don't write too small. I can't see these words at all. They are too small. And don't draw super tiny in the middle of the page. Those are some big no-nos to avoid. Good luck, and I can't wait to see your designs.